Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to The Crooked Man. Probably one of my favorite little RPG horror games. I've not yet played through this, but I have seen people play it. This game contains sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak of heart and those with the poor with horse should not play. The author takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. So yes, we shall see how well I handle the horror of this game. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked suspense upon a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which got a crooked mouse, and they all lived together. In a, a crooked little house. As you know, I had practiced that so many times before and it got perfect, and you know, not this time. Whew, finally. Things look tidy in here. Um, I don't know what your definition of tidy it is. Tidy it is, tidy is. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh well, guys, so let's just continue on the story, shall we? That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, we'd better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. I think I'm the one who should be careful. Hmm. Let me turn up the volume a little bit in my headset. As well as on my trusty little computer, okay? Alright, alright, good stuff, good stuff. Let's see, we got here a large crack in the wall, yes, not very tidy. Tissues for later tonight. A phone. An empty trash can. My old television, some cupboards, a fridge, and nothing, a stove, a sink. What is this? Huh? Sheesh. Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. I uh, got Paul's license. Right now I am wearing my X12 Turtle Beaches. These are the best gaming headsets I have right now. So they're going to have to do... Hopefully this will help with audio as well. Well, as far as recording goes. You hear someone. The talking gets distance. Distance. Distant. Ah. Well, that was interesting. I didn't think I'd be voicing it like that. The license can wait, I guess. Ah. Poor David. It'll be okay, mate. Things will get better. I'm just fucking kidding. This is a horror game. They'll never get better. Hello? Are you aware it's 9 o'clock exactly? Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? What a douche. How dare they? They'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Let's go take a bath. Is that what you want, David? No? No, it's a shower. 
All right, David. Maybe you wanna play some video games on your PC. An old computer. That not a gaming PC at all. Maybe we'll just go to bed. Man, I'm tired. <sighs> Someone crying. I can't sleep through this. <sighs> Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. <sighs> Still nine o'clock. Ah, I need to stop crying. Well, two oh six. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. Excuse me. Yes? Who is it? At this hour? Uh, pardon me, it's just... I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Hear you what? Moaning. Or crying. Uh, uh, I, I, I guess so. Sorry for waking you. Uh, bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart, more importantly. It was a man's voice. It wasn't my imagination. <sighs> Whatever. I better get back to sleep. Excuse me. Washing machine. Yikes, the water. The faucet's busted. Mm -hmm. Under the bed. Hmm, what a waste of shaving cream. Under the Ed, is Paul trying to prank me? Uh, talk about bad taste. Under the bed, eh? Under the bed? Under the bed? Under the bed, huh? Uh, what's down here? Well, I'm pretty sure you're in the bed, David. So, I don't know why that'll solve anything. Hmm? Found something. Oh, yeah, we're out of the bed. Got a scrap from a notebook. <sighs> <sighs> Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? <sighs> Whatever. Now oh, it's bad. It's right there on the floor. That sounds still. Where is it coming from? <laughs> Still 9 a.m. Quick as money. Hands a phone. Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the. No, oh, I didn't mean j just. I'm busy with work, so. Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Oh, man. I slept in till noon. Ugh. I better go. Ugh. So much for taking it easy. 
But your clock. It only says nine thousand and one. Because it's over nine thousand, David. Oh, hello, Paul. What is it? Y yeah. Uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? No, uh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Whew. Thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? I don't, I don't mirror. What kind of child of bread do you take me for, David? T sorry, I, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Yes, with that we are off. And I think oh, we'll go. The voices. The voices. No need to go in here. No need to go in here. Landscape painting. Uh, maybe I want to go in there. No, okay. I need to go in here. Mom's hospital room. That was creepy as hell. Mom. It's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh. My. If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good. You look healthy. Sorry, I, I can't see you much. But I, I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off. So I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So, when you get better... We can live together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Window, Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Uh, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? Oh, yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. No, uh, um. Oh? Who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody, somebody! There's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now! Mrs. Hoover! Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Get away! Now, calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Oh, shit. Thought I was gonna be the doctor. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Uh, understood. Take good care of her. Oh, Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? M Mom! Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom! It's me. Remember? Mom! David, 
Please, leave. She's very confused right now. But, but she said my... I said leave! Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. Jesus. Bring the sedatives. Bring the sedatives. Bring me that ass. Can't go back in. Hello, Doctor. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah. No, I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Well, guys, it's time to go back to bed. But what was that? In here? No. Nothing has been moved. The bathroom. Everything seems to be in place. But this chair. It was not here before. Did I move that chair? Hmm? There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Um, these LLM courses are circled. Was someone shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenant. She sure forgot about it just stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Don't know about that, David. Uh, just a war now. No, oh, you shit. Hello? Hey, wait. Hey, David, how are you doing? Uh, you saw me just fine yesterday. I mean, uh, you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. Uh, that's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look out for herself. Alright. Well, I'll hang up now. Alright, see ya. Ooh. Oh, why people call me so much? I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Well, guys, I think I'm going to end this part here. Let me just figure out how to open my this here uh, menu thing. Maybe. Ah, here we are. We got a cell phone, a lighter, cigarettes, notebook scrap, and a lot. Alright guys, so, upon that note, saving into the first of, I don't know why we'd need 20 slots, but, saving our first, 29, holy shit, this has been running on for a long time, good for a first episode, though, we'll see you all next time, goodbye everyone.